Mario, wake up! <laughs> hey guys, this is Sean Kirby 707 and welcome to Super Mario 64! In the last episode, we tackled Cool Cool Mountain and we unlocked the wing cap! So, now we can soar through the skies with the wing cap! Yay! Ooh. I was trying to do a spin jump, but this is not Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Anyways, in this part, um, we have a lot of stars. At least almost a 20. So you know what? I think I'm going to tackle um, Bowser. Yeah. I mean, you only need 8 to uh, fight him. And I feel like that's way too early. So I just waited a little bit longer. And I feel like it's the right time to tackle Bowser. Why not? Alright, so anyways, we got more than enough stars to unlock the door. And we can go inside. Bowser is waiting for us. Or rather, Princess Peach. Princess Peach, I'm coming to you! Oh, what the hey? What happened to you, Princess Peach? Ha, 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 ha. You stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I will. I warned you, friend. Watch your step. So, you're saying you and I are friends, Bowser? <laughs> Alright, well, anyways, uh, welcome to Bowser in the Dark World. Yeah, this is a Bowser course, and just taking this amazing music. I love this song. It's one of my favorite songs in this game. And I hear so many great remixes of this song, and I love this song. But anyways, in the Bowser course, um, pretty much all you gotta do is just go through the course and go to the end, and you'll find Bowser. But there's also one more thing in the Bowser courses. There are red coins. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get to Bowser, I am going to get these red coins. And whoa boy. <laughs> practicing? In my practice round of getting these red coins. Oh boy, you don't know how many times I failed to get this red coin star in this stage. Like ten times. Yeah, it, 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 it was a lot of falling and a lot of silly mistakes. But anyways, um, before we go on, there's actually another one of the boxes, but it's green. And if you guys can guess, you know, there's another special cap, which you will be getting later. Although, you don't really need th this particular cap for the stage, so, yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna tackle the red coins first, before we- before we head on! Before we head on! <laughs> oh, I almost burned my butt there. Alright. Okay, so, anyways, I switched it on the timer, so these blocks will appear for a little bit, but after that they disappear. And that's how you get the that red coin in the beginning. So hopefully I don't feel like I did my practice run. Like I feel like ten times just to get the red coins. I guess because I was rushing, that's why. So maybe I shouldn't rush. Although I like to rush in some games. I like to rush in Mario games. I don't know why. I guess I don't know. I don't know why. In Mario games, I tend to like to rush a lot, or at least try to do like a speed running thing. Even though I'm not a professional speedrunner, but sometimes I like to speed around through stages. Alright. Uh, oh, this is a funny memory. This block in particular right here, this yellow block. I don't know why, but when I was a kid, this block, this block that's going back and forth, I always call it the cheese block. I don't know why. <laughs> I always call this block the cheese block. Yeah, I was a silly kid back then. Uh, I missed that coin, but that's okay. Actually, I can get it. No! Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I always call that yellow block the cheese block. I don't know why, I just... It's, it's just me, you know, the silly kid inside me. I always call it the cheese block. Here we're stopping these Goombas. And there's actually another red coin over there. Oh, jeez, I uh, need to be careful. I'm gonna lock a little bit. There we go. Alright, and that's another red coin. And another extra light. Yeah, <laughs> Bowser, you're very, being very kind to me right now. Please. Lies. Be careful here. Ugh. I don't like the video of that right now. Alright, uh, these seesaws. All you do is just run through them. Alright. And uh, there's one more. Oh, right. I do like a long jump from here. Long jump! There we go. I was afraid of that jump. But there we go. There's a seventh one. And the eighth one is around here somewhere, which I will get. Uh, launch onto that. Do not fall. Please do not fall. I remember one time, uh, or actually in my practice run, I got all the red coins. I got the top one last, and I was in the middle of a long jump, and I'm like, oh boy, I just shot it. And 
and would you know it? I fell off the course, and yeah, start over. <laughs> like I literally, you know, got start unlocked, but I fell to my doom. Yeah, I was very mad at that, but also laughing at myself because you know it's been a long time since I played this game, so I'm like, oh man, I'm very bad at this game. But yay, I'm doing much better. <laughs> Although I wish I failed, just to make it a little bit more entertaining in this video, but oh well. Sometimes you can't have it your guys' way. You know, you guys want me to fail at this game, but I think I'm doing fine so far. But anyways, we got uh, another power star. So, anyways, uh, we got all the red coins in this course. So, we took care of that. Now, in the DS version, there's actually two stars that you have to get. One of them is the red coin star, but the other one is a switch star, which there is like a star switch in the DS version. And once you hit that, um, the star will appear inside a glass, and you have to. And it's, it's on the timer too, so you gotta hurry up and get that star. So in the DS version, they make it, uh, I guess, a little bit longer to complete this world. So, but it's not really hard at all. But anyways, we got what we needed. Let's head on to Bowser. Oh, Bowser. Look at you. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toasty was in here. Ha 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 ha. Go ahead, just try and grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. Or look like you will throw me out of here. Never. Ha. Um, Bowser, you're just like any other bosses that tell what your, um, what your, what your weakness is. So, you're not really any different from any bosses, I'm sorry, but you're not. So anyways, what you have to do is just swing Bowser around and hit him against those bombs, and then that's it. That's all you do, just one swing to the bombs, and then he's done. Grrr! I was a bit careless, this is not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. Wait, didn't you just call her Princess Toastu earlier? Which one is it, Toastu or Peach? <laughs> <laughs> You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet. But I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. Alright, see you around, Bowser. That was a pretty pathetic fight you pulled off. Anyways, we got a key! Alright, so instead of a star, we get a key. This key will unlock a certain door in Peach's castle. Alright, let's save and continue. We're pretty much done with that course. <laughs> Nothing else for us to do. So we could go to the... Okay, well, we have a key, but the key doesn't go to this door. When I was a kid, I thought this key would go through this door, but no, it doesn't. And it, the dialogue tells you, you know, it goes through the basement, which is actually down here. Yeah, it's actually down here. Uh, oh, I forgot about this course. Yeah, if you look behind you, yeah, there is a boo. I forgot about this course, and I love this course. How did I forget about this course? Well, I guess you need a certain amount of stars to get through this course. I think you need at least 10 stars to get this course unlocked. So pretty much we're outside of the castle in this boo sanctuary, I suppose. I call it a boo sanctuary. But there is one big boo right here, and he has what appears to be a little tiny, I guess, birdcage? I call it a birdcage, but it's not really a birdcage, it's actually another world and one of my favorites i love this word a lot this is big boost Han. go on a ghost hunt Ooh. you know i love the paranormal and i love ghosts so <laughs> this is actually fitting for me come on in here <laughs> all right if you say so i actually don't mind going to this place at all i will say though the song in this world is very creepy. It really is. But anyways, um, like the star said, whoa, I tackled you at once. Oh, <laughs> that was actually very cool. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I took out two boobs at once. Ghosts don't die. <laughs> Can you get out of here alive? Can we get the same message again? <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess technically. Ghosts don't die, but if ghosts die, would that mean they would go to the afterlife afterlife? I don't know. Just thinking out loud. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, we took out two booze, which is pretty much the main objective of this star is to get rid of the booze. 
at least a small boost um, in this in this mission. All right, so anyway, we got multiple doors here. I will be exploring all of them, and let's just save this right now. One of these doors leads to one of my childhood nightmares, and I'm pretty sure it's your guys' childhood nightmare too. I'm not sure which door is it, but I believe this one. Yeah. You see this nice piano, right? Nice piano, right? If you go near it, yeah, it comes alive. Oh my god. <laughs> when I was a kid, that literally freaked me out. Oh man, I was so scared of that piano. I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in this, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys were afraid of that piano, the haunted piano. Oh man. <laughs> I, when I went near it, that loud banging sound that it makes, that literally made me jump. <laughs> oh man. I, when, I, when I was a kid, I was so afraid to go in that room. I, like, I did not want to go near that room. Even though it contained a red coin, I just did not want to go near that piano when I was a kid. I was literally afraid of that piano. And sometimes I was scared to play on the stage. So, yeah! Haunted Piano! Everyone's childhood nightmare in this game. At least one of my childhood nightmares. There's still plenty more to go through with childhood nightmares in this game. But the haunted piano is the icing on the cake. <laughs> I mean, literally, this is a kid's game, and you put that thing in in this game. A haunted piano that literally tries to bite your head off. Wow. Alright, wait. I, I completely forgot what, the, what my mission was, is to destroy these ghosts. I, I don't know why, but I was going after the red coins. I'm like, wait, wait a minute, I'm going for the wrong star. I'm supposed to be destroying booze, not gaining coins. Red coins, at least. So yeah, haunted piano. <laughs> ah, yeah, the haunted piano. Ah, joy. Alright, anyways, um, there's one more boo that we, I completely skipped on. I completely ignore the fact that we had to destroy the boos, and I was aiming for the red coins. But anyways, after you destroy all the small boos, boom, here comes the master of mischief, the tower of terror, the big boo! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, very creepy and menacing indeed, not. So yeah, here we have the big boo. And for some reason, it makes thwomp noises. I don't know why, but every time you tackle it, it makes thwomp noises. And three hits, he's down, and he would give us the power star. Alright, so there you go. That is pretty much the end of this star. And there we go. And there's actually more floors here, too, you can explore. But, you know, I'm just gonna take my star and go. And there we go. Another star is down. Alright, there we go! And I think I- Oh, I thought I got one up in that crap first, but never mind. Uh, let's see if I continue. Uh, I guess I could tackle one more star in Big Boo's Haunt. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's tackle one more star in Big Boo's Haunt. Because I like this course a lot. I love Big Boo's Haunt. It's actually one of my favorite courses. Ride Big Boo's Merry-Go-Round! Um, I don't remember this one, really. But I do remember where the merry-go-round is at. Alright, so let's go inside the Boo's Mansion and find the merry-go-round. And I believe, uh, I know where it is, but I'm just trying to remember what you do in this particular mission. Just fall through the, fall, the floor, or the ground rather. Or, actually, there's no ground. Fall into the abyss and you'll fall down here. And we hear this infamous merry-go-round music. So anyways, this is the miracle round, and we have a boo paint that's spinning off fire. Boos do not breathe fire, I don't understand that. But anyways, what you're supposed to do is ride the miracle round, and like, in the first star, you have to destroy these boos. Simple as that. And you don't want them to look at you, because otherwise they'll hide their faces. And after you defeat all the boos, the... Come on, the big boo returns. Yeah! Ghosts don't die. Remember that message? They don't die. They just apparently disappear for a little bit. And three strikes, you're out. And there we go. We took down the big boom once again in the Miracle Round stuff, and we collect another star. All right, there we go. And you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna stop it here. <laughs> we defeated. Well, not really defeated, but we beat a Bowser and got the key, and we. 
explored a new chord, Big Boo's Haunt. And in the next episode, in the next episode, we will go down into the basement and explore new worlds that is available to us. So, anyways, guys, I will see you guys then. So, this is Sean Kirby 707 saying bye.